My first guest tonight is a five-time Grammy Award-winning singer and songwriter. She is the best-selling female country artist of all time, with more than 100 million records sold worldwide. Please welcome to The Late Show, Shania Twain! <laughs> Boy, it's a really I'm a, I love lovely to finally meet you and, and interview you. Really, it's uh, I'm a longtime fan. I, I recognize this from a music video. This outfit is very re re resonant. Of uh, is it uh, feels like a woman? Is that, that don't impress me. That don't much. much. Exactly. That's it. That's exactly. It's not the same dress. No, is it? this no, is like it's it's kind of you know Shania esque. This is like the giraffe version. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> well, listen, before we get into it, uh, I am legally required to start a Shania Twain interview with this. <laughs> Let's go, oh, girls. That's awesome. All right. All right. Okay, we are in the midst of what historians are calling the shania -sance. Okay, oh. where you have a new album coming out on February 3rd. There it is. It's called <laughs> Queen of Me. All right. You're going on a global arena tour. You're everywhere. Last last year, you did a you had a surprise appearance, Harry Styles concert right there at Coachella. You have a popular Netflix documentary, Shania Twain, Not Just a Girl, and you just won an Icon People's Choice Award. There you go. The animal pattern, the animal prints continue. So what is this? Listen, what, what does this moment feel like to you, Shania Twain? I am just so incredibly energized lately. I think that COVID was, it was a very creative time for me, the isolation. Um, now, here I you spent, like isolation. I do like, I mean, not that kind of isolation. No, but you, you know, like but for forced. creatively, yeah. I love being isolated. I love to write music. So I like to be alone. I lock myself in the bathroom often to get that, you know, alone time space. Uh, in closets. I mean, I really Really? You literally crawl into a closet and close the door? Closets are great. I need to be alone. No, I really do. I I'm <laughs> guessing, Shania Twain, you have a better closet than I, I do. I probably. <laughs> um, no, I know that probably... It does sound weird just saying, saying it out loud, but yeah. I need the isolation. I need a space where I can um, let go of my inhibitions. There's no wrong thing to write. There's no wrong thing to say. I can say it out loud, I can scream it, whatever the emotion is, and not feel judged. So this is my no inhibition zone. You know, closets, bathrooms, where I can find privacy. Well, you've, you've won many awards, uh, uh, five Grammys, as I said before. I am just curious how this moment feels to you. This is, this is an, another high point recently. Where, where is this? A train was named after you. The Shania Train. <laughs> is this Canada? Is this back home? <laughs> this is in Switzerland. Oh, in Switzerland. Yeah, they take their trains really seriously they take there. Their trains, they take their Twain trains very seriously. No. <laughs> um, no, it's true. I have a long history with trains um, from my childhood um, growing up in Canada, but so it was very. Um, it was very cool for me to be able to be there at the inauguration and have the train named after me. It was really a compliment. And Shania you have, Train. You have a signature right under there underneath Shania Train. Did you sign it live in the moment? I did sign it live in the moment. I wasn't sure if it was going to be... I thought they were going to get me to redo it later or something like that. So it's... But this is my real signature, and it's... I've been doing thousands of signatures for my album. I, I, I've sure. been signing the inserts, you know, for the right. album, for the CDs, so... It's probably a very decent, you know, version of my signature, but yes. yeah, it's permanent. However good or bad it is, it's permanent. So anyone who rides that train could forge a check from you. <laughs> We're all. We I good? sure hope not. Yeah. Now you've you've influenced uh, a, a generation of of uh, younger musicians: Taylor Swift, Harry Styles, Post Malone, uh, Diplo. What what do you say to this next generation of Trace musicians? Trace the Jonas Brothers. It's gonna, I mean, it's just, just like, on and on. But like, what do you hear it? Like when, you, when they me. say, like when when Post Malone says, "You really influenced me." Do you ever say, "I don't hear it"? Or <laughs> <laughs> no, 
Actually, I'm a really big fan of uh, pop music in general. So many different styles. I love Post Malone. I'm, I'm actually mm -hmm. just a genuine fan of his music and his voice. Um, what he has to say. You know, what this all means to me is that things have gone full circle in these last 30, you know, 25, 30 years for me. These are, these are artists that were kids, you know, four or five, six years old, yeah. growing up to my music. Um, and now they're grown up and able to say, express whatever that inspiration was to me. So it, re it feels really, really good. I just want to sit down around a campfire with these guys and say, let's just see what happens, you know? <laughs> let's get out our guitars and um, that would make it's a, a really lot of good special. I would watch that. <laughs> Shania Twain, take the Twain, the, 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 the Twain train. That's it, take the Twain and up train. And up to the junction, yep. get out and sit around a fire with a guitar and yep. Shania Twain. Get, roll on those Twain tracks right down to the fire. How did you... So, it's a great shot of you and Harry on stage. How did you become friends with Harry Styles? Do you guys uh, hang? He was playing in New York, actually. This is before he really blew up, and uh, I went backstage to meet him and he said you know we became texting friends at that moment and text me a few weeks later would you call my mom and wish her happy birthday and I'm like of course sure you know my mom was a big influence on me and she uh, you know she's why I grew up with your music so um, called her up wish her happy birthday and, and Harry and I have been friends ever since we have to take a quick break but stick around we'll be right back with more Shania Twain everybody <laughs>